Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. I'm so glad to be back with you learning and growing together. Let's start with our question. Do you like hot or cold weather? Which do you prefer, hot or cold weather? If I'm choosing, even though I love snow, I would prefer hot weather. Next up, time for our joke of the day. What do you call a dinosaur when it's sleeping? A dinosaur. <laughs> our first activity is we're gonna look at the picture, say the word, stretch the sounds, and then figure out how to spell this word. So this is a pen. Everyone say that, pen. Now let's stretch the sounds. P and what sounds do you hear? P eh, eh, Ellie Elephant, N Nigel Night Owl, pen. Next one, you put a plant in, it is called a pot, pot. Now let's stretch it out, P ot. What sounds do you hear? Ah, pot. Next is a mug full of coffee. It looks like our hot chocolate mug. Let's stretch it out. Mm, uh, mug. This is a hen. Hen. Let's stretch it out. N, hen. Nice work. Now we're on to our two letter blends or chunks at the beginning of a word. So this is a picture of what? Grapes. So what sounds are at the beginning of grapes? What two sounds make gr, gr, gr? G R grapes grapes. Next is a crab. What two sounds blend together to make the cr sound in crab? Cr C R cr crab like crazy. Plant. What do you hear at the beginning of plant? Plant. Plant. P L. These blends are tricky, but I know that you can do it. Next up is a spider. What do you hear at the beginning of spider? S P sp spider. On to our math skills. How many more balls do you need to make 10? Let's count how many we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six, but we want to make 10. How can we get from six to 10? Let's keep counting. So we're gonna start from six and we're gonna count on until we reach the number 10. Six, what comes next? Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're trying to find the difference between six and ten. What is the difference between six and ten? Four. So if we had four more beach balls, we would have ten. You can also look at the picture and you know what a tens frame looks like. So we have three, so you need two more. Three and two more. So two and two would visually make it a tens frame and that would be four. So six plus four equals 10. Nice work, let's try another one. How many more ice creams to make 10? How many ice creams are there? Now we need to make 10. What strategy should we use? Let's count on. Four 
and let's count till we reach 10. Count with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Four plus six more make 10. Now we have the number seven and we want to make 10. So what card do we need to make 10? Let's count on. Start from seven in your head. Count on till we get to 10. What comes after seven? Eight, nine, 10. Nice work. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Seven plus three more make 10. What is this number? Do you know how many are here? This is a group of 10. So if you know this is 10, then you just have to count on four extra ones. 10, what comes next? Count on 11, 12, 13, 14. Did you get 14? Let's try another. This is harder, but I know that you know that this is two groups of 10. So what is two groups of 10? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, plus two extra ones. 10, 20, 21, 22. That is 22 cubes. Nice work. Now let's look at our reading skills. What is this a picture of? Now let's sound out each word to see which, pit, which word matches the picture. Let's start with this. TR is a blend. It says tr, tr, uh, k. CK works together to make the k sound. Tr, uh, k. Is that a truck? Uh, let's try the next one. Tr e. That's a vowel team. Two vowels together, side by side. They say their name with pride. So the double E says E. Two vowels side by side. The first one says its name with pride. Tr e. Tree. Does that match the picture? Let's check the next one just to make sure. Tr a. App. Which one matches the picture? Tree. Nice work. What is that a picture of? Let's look at the words. F R blend says fr fr. There's a vowel team. E fr e fr ost fr ost. Is that frost? Frog. Frog. Is that a frog? Which word matches the picture? Frog. Nice work. Look at the picture. ST blends. ST say, says st. St. Amp. Str. Ing. There's our friend Ing, a king with a ring that can sing, ing, string, string, stick, stick. Which word matches this picture best? Stick, you said stick, you are correct. Now for recipe Wednesday, I wanna show you a quick um, recipe with some ingredients you probably have in your house. Since this week we've been learning um, about bears, you did an animal lesson study yesterday on bears, and we did going on a bear hunt Monday for Music Monday. So all you need is a piece of toast, and you can add peanut butter on your toast. If you have Nutella, you may use that as well. Then you need a banana and cut up three slices of banana and then something chocolatey. 
I am using a chocolate chip, but you may have um, some M&Ms or a raisin will even work as well. So we're gonna make some bear toast. So I'm gonna take a slice of banana for the ears. So how many ears does a bear have? Two, and then one for the nose area. And I'm gonna add two eyes with the chocolate chips that I'm using and put one right here for the nose. Let's see if you can try it. Two banana slices for the ears, one for the nose. You need two eyes and one for the mouth. If you have spreadable whitish colored cheese, like a cream cheese, you could also make it a polar bear with some of the same ingredients. Um, you could also add vanilla wafers, the little round cookies if you have those. Or if you do not have anything chocolate, you could do raisins. So maybe you can make some bear toast for your snack for Recipe Wednesday. So let's review our sign language before we go. So mouse, do you remember the sign for mouse? Do it with me. Mouse, mouse. How about rabbit? Rabbit, rabbit. And our last one is, I love you, I love you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll check back with you tomorrow. Bye.